All right, guys, we're out at the short game area today with my boy Max, and we're going to talk about distance control with the wedges. A lot of players struggle with the distance control uh, with the wedges, and it's mostly because they can't really control the launch angle. So the best place in the world launch their wedges at about 30 degrees or less, which is a lot lower than a lot of people realize, and especially a lot lower than most amateurs. So. Yeah. A lot of amateurs struggle because they hit too much down on the golf ball, which is going to cause them to hit high on the club head and the ball is going to launch higher with less spin. Okay? The best place in the world hit it lower on the face and the ball is going to come out lower with more spin. If you look how the club is designed, you got more mass at the bottom, which is going to help the ball to com be compre more compressed and come out lower with more spin. So, uh, a great way to explain the launch angle that I've heard from a lot of great coaches is to imagine that the shaft is a cannon that shoots out a cannonball. To be able to control exactly where that cannonball lands, you have to control the angle of the cannon, okay? If you have the same consistent angle, that cannonball is gonna land at the same spot if it comes out with the same speed every time, but if you angle it too far up, it's gonna come out higher and land shorter. If it's angled too far down, it's gonna come out longer and land further up, okay? So we gotta control this angle of the cannon, same thing applies to the shot. We gotta control the launch angle of the shot to be able to control the distance. So, like I mentioned, the best place in the world hit it lower on the face, that lowers the launch and uh, uh, makes it more possible to control the distance, pretty much, right? So to be able to hit it lower on the face, we have to, first of all, feel like the, sh the attack angle is more shallow, so we have to feel like we swing out more to the right, okay, to be able to hit it lower on the face. Zach Johnson has it actually swings it 10 degrees out to the right, so a lot, all right? The feel is almost to hit a little low hook to the flag, all right? The second thing we want to feel is to have a little bit of shaft lane. It's totally okay to have a little bit more shaft lane to lower the launch. On shots around the greens, obviously, we don't want too much shaft lane because we're trying to hit it up in the air and for it to land really, really soft. But it's, if you think about it this way, it's a lot easier to control a low chip where that lands compared to trying to land a flop shot at the same spot every time. So same thing applies here. We're gonna lower that launch to be able to control the distance. So let's see, we got Trackman here. I'm gonna try to be as consistent with my launch each time here. So the goal is to hit anywhere between 25 to 30 degrees of launch angle. So we have about 50 yards. Let's see if I can do it here. Swing out to the right, a little bit of shaft lane low on the face. Pretty good right there. Go ahead. Wait, Max, what we got there? 27.7. Uh, 27.7. .7. So let's see if I can do that again. Hit it anywhere close to that and I'm happy. Not a good one. What do we got there? 28.7. 28 28.7. 28 yeah. So I'm almost a degree, you know, within yeah, what, yeah. as consistent as you can be pretty much, all right? So I'm able to control the distance. You can see both of those are exactly pin high by controlling the launch angle. So next time you go practice, focus on trying to hit the same launch and really try to hit it as low as you can, but still solid contact, all right? Not until you can do that, you can, can really control the distance control. So get the launch angle and the obviously the solid contact first and then focus on how ball that how far that ball is actually far. Right. Sweet. Sounds good. All right. So go out there and hit low ones guys.